How long have we been in this cab? Feels like, uh, forever. So wet in here. So boring. Just wanna get out of here, dude. Oh, I just hope someone comes to save us soon. As you can see, the uh, the attacking Kerbals of the Sticks Corporation are still trapped in their remnants of their boat. And uh, a couple of you guys asked me in the comments if I could go uh, rescue them. As a sign of my goodwill, and uh, because also they may know interesting facts, that's what we're going to go do. Right. I've got this uh, nice helicopter trying out some of the new parts I've got because I've just downloaded the fire spitter pack which involves a lot of props and I've also downloaded the new uh, B9 pack which involves a lot of new parts and uh, this comes with the, these Bombay things and this is cargo ramp and I decided you know let's put them together and make this badass helicopter so let's try flying this now and, uh, just push the power up I don't want to put the power up too high immediately and just end up taking straight off and going in a strange direction put up a bit more no, no, I don't think we're going anywhere. Come on. Uh, ooh. Uh, I, 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 I think we, I might need to go rope vices. Um, <laughs> uh, not, not powerful enough. Ah, oh, bugger. Right, so this time we've got, uh, two props, uh, two rotors, and, uh, if we pull the power up on these, these should last take off. Um, just close the bomb days. Now the idea is I've got the Kerbal Attachment System, which is basically a winch and electromagnet. Ooh. Um, and I've got that inside the bomb bay, so we can open the... No, no, uh-oh. Oh crap. Uh, tilt forwards. Tilt. That's not forwards. Balls. Okay. Right, let's try again. This time I've spaced up the rotors a bit more and I've also put some uh, little stabilization thingies, I can't remember what they're called, on the side. Um, yes, I'm using the uh, curb attachment system with an electromagnet. So the idea is as we get over the top, we'll hover over place, we'll drop the electromagnet down, clamp that on, and we'll fly off into the sunset, dragging them below us. Now at the moment this looks very much like a Chinook uh, helicopter. Um, and the Chinook is... Uh, dual rotor and uh, can carry 12 tons in dish to its own weight um, so you know if we're going anything like that design we should have plenty of pullability because they've only got the, the cab and a tiny bit attached to the back so it shouldn't be too much for us to lift Ooh. oh god uh, I don't think I did that um, how do I counteract it no no ah uh. Okay. Um, things are exploding. <laughs> now, the one good thing about the B9 pack is the cockpits are very sturdy. They don't blow up very easily, which is probably a good thing for me. Right. Let's give it another go, see if I can fly it this time. Close those. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually making helicopters because I haven't downloaded the uh, fire spitter pack for the rotors before, so it might just be my awful flying or my awful design. Let's hope it's the flying because, you know, I might get used to it and uh, it might work this time around. Hopefully, hoping against the odds. Do, 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 do. No, no, it's going sideways again. Uh, do, 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 I, do I yaw? Do I pitch? I don't know. What am I meant to be doing? No, 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 no. Yes, I crashed in exactly the same way again. Awesome. Fucking fantastic. Right, you know what? Let's fuck rotor blades like that. Let's let's go for VTOL engines using a tilt rotor design. That way we can fly forwards and we can fly up. We can alter the angle, the... the Anglo attack, I assume it is. I've got a wing, but yeah. Um, 
Then I forgot this is the reason I don't like using Vitals box. Okay, let's get with another go. Look, we put some stabilization fan thingies on the back and on the front and on the top and hopefully No. No. Okay, that's fallen off. We don't we don't we don't need that. Um Whoa! Things are exploding. A uh, little bit more power, maybe. If I, I have no idea. Um, anyway, this design looks very much like the tilt rotor B twenty two Os. What just happened there? Um. Huh. That was strange. Right, let's try this again. Yes, uh, what was I saying? Yes, it looks like very much like the Osprey, which is the 22 tilt rotor, which is used by the, uh, the Marine Corps. Oh, bollocks. Yes, used by the US Marine Corps. Um, and that can lift another 12 tons of additional weight, just like the Chinook. Oh, bollocks. Um. Sometimes it flips back, sometimes it flips forwards. I have no idea what's going on with this. Maybe we should just try a new design. Right, this time around, we're going with a really light little helicopter. Maybe it's just the weight of the other one. And this time, you know, small helicopter. Hopefully, this will go fine. Right. We managed to take off because you know it's nice and light. You can see the Kerbal attachment system there, right underneath it. Um, oh, it's it's so light. I'm having difficult controlling it here. It doesn't take much for us to make it take off, which means you know all the more for us for lifting. Um, at least the tail rotor is working. Oh bollocks! Okay, right now I think I've got the hang of this. Uh, or, or maybe not. Why? Every now and then it just keeps pitching forwards and I have no idea well, pitching backwards and I have no idea why. Um Right, let's let's play around with the attachment system. Can I can I extend it somehow? There we go. Oh uh, I th think that may have made the pitching worse. I have no idea. I wonder how much this magnet weighs if it can actually, you know, throw the ship around. Ship? Not a ship. It's a it's a helicopter. Vessel, craft, thing. Soon to be debris, probably knowing me. Um, oh God, yep, it's definitely okay. I I cannot fly this. There there is no way. I I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I'm I'm gonna tip over. Oh God, no, no, not this one. Right. Balls to it. We're not using a, a conventional design. This time I'm trying out this thing. It's basically a probe with four fans attached. The fans that you normally find on the sort of hovercrafts or sort of those little things that run around the Everglades. That's that's ticking up quite nicely. Oh, it's pitching over a little bit. Let's see. How do I write this? I I, I spinning. I don't know how I can write this. Um, Mechjob, help me. Yes. No. That's. That's the, the the fan output seems to have. I'm I'm confused. Okay, right, we're going in the right direction at least. Uh, that's a, a bit too much hitch. No. Uh, we're headed towards the ground now. Um, the nav ball is spinning like crazy. Uh, bollocks. Right. This time, stabilization fan things with fins and everything. This should stop us rotating. No? Oh god. We're rotating. I thought like they're meant to stop me rotating. If anything, we're rotating more. Maybe I didn't attach them right. I'd... I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> uh, maybe I should stop watching that for. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Whee! 
Oh god. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Alright. Just forget Stipulation fans, well you can use RCS. Don't know how long the RCS will last for, but at least it'll be able to keep us pointing up. So there we go. A little bit of a see oh, we're tilting a little bit. Shouldn't be tilting. Uh we're tilting more. Um okay now now we're rotating again. I don't know which side I'm meant to be firing. I'm uh we're headed sideways. Um still headed no no now we're heading down. Heading down. Spinning fat. No, the emergency parachute didn't help. That just came off. But at least the emergency parachute got away safely. That's that's the main thing. Right. Let's uh, forget the forget the four rotors. We have a tail rotor. We have a top rotor. Just tiny little helicopter. It's fine. Just small as small as needs to be. Like that way, all the weight. That Yes, there's a tail rotor and nothing on the front to balance it. Right, okay, now this should balance it. There's a tail rotor on the back and a tail rotor on the front. Two tail rotors. Perfectly balanced. Let's see, there's a hover option here. Let's try playing around with that. I have no idea what the hover option does, actually. Does it automatically make me hover? Seem to be going up. Seem to be stationary. Like, let's let's fly towards the target. Why are we going sideways now? Why are we spinning? Whoa! Why are we crashing in slow motion? Um, hello ground. I've missed you. Well, at least the probe survived. We can find out what went wrong. What went wrong being it was a shoddy design. Back to helicopters. Nice little standard twin intake on the front, next to the cockpit that I used in the uh, the VTOL Harrier originally. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try this. Four little landing legs, couple of attachment system underneath. Tail rope, stop me spinning. Nice gentle takeoff. Careful. No. Ooh. Ooh. Good recover. No. Yeah, I, I just jinxed it, didn't I? Hello, ground. Let's try that again. And maybe I shouldn't taunt the ground, so it tends to win. Anyway, moving swiftly on, I'll try and take off again. Gently. Some concerned by the fact we've got the throttle quite high already if we're going to be lifting, but uh, we should be fine. Maybe we just drag it behind us. I don't know. Try that again. Want to uh, just make sure the tail rotor is nice and powerful so we can turn. You can up the power on the tail rotor so you don't feel so sluggish when you're trying to turn it. Which is quite useful. Right. Yeah, it's a lot better. Nice angle attack, nice and fast. No, now now we're going back for some reason. I don't wanna now we're going sideways. Why why does this happen? Why why really sideways? I didn't do this. Why? Okay, maybe I did this. I'm trying to no, I'm trying to balance this out. Right. Okay. Now, now we're now we're more level. That's fine. All right. Not today, ground. Not today. Well, I got the tail rotor. No. 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 Oh God, ground. Why do I taunt you so? I know you're always going to win. Maybe if I can just slow our, slow our landing, we can go into a landing and then pull back up if necessary. No, no, we're going back up. No, it seemed to... 
Have it under control, I was going to say. Possibly don't. Yeah. Okay, maybe we need something to stop us. Failing. Right. This time around, we're not going to go sideways. We've got little wings. I'm not sure what that makes us. Some sort of helicopter of wings. But either way, hopefully we won't go sideways because the wings will be stabilizing us. And we go sideways immediately off the launch pad. Excellent. But at least it was only somewhat... Ooh. Oh god. Um, Let's try that one again. Possibly without me saying it looks like it's going fine. Right. This will go awfully. It'll be terrible. There'll be crashes. People will, people will burn. Um, there, will, there will be lots of bad stuff. That way I'll be pleasantly surprised. Or I will just get what I suspected. And there will be no false advertising. Why am I tilting backwards so hard? I, I mean, like, try to pull back slightly. Right, let's, let's try and go forwards again. Come on. Come on. It's not responsive on pitching. Come on. A little bit more pitch here. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Uh, fly forwards. That's it. That's it. Okay, we've we've maxed out the, the throttle and we're not going forwards or up particularly fast. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to lift this guy. Right, okay, now we're there. We'll, uh, we'll drop the attachment system. Extend. There we go. And now we've just got to hover overhead long enough to be able to hit him with this and hit magnetize. Um. Uh, okay. No, we're going away. Can we, can we turn? Can we, can we turn some more? Come on, turn. 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 This is this is getting. Uh, we we seem to be turning at exactly the rate we're going around him, so that we're just orbiting him. No, but fly further away, and yeah, this isn't going to work, is it? <laughs> right, I've given up on flying. I hate flying. There we go. Flatbed with floats. At fold up under us and provide a cushy landing. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, flatbed, crane out the back, four fans providing propulsion. We'll be fine. Okay, we just need to fix those bugs. Right, I fixed all the bugs by the liberal addition of struts, which tends to be the solution to most problems in KSP. If you've got a problem, struts. Yeah, so uh, we're not using our floats as cushions. We're just going along. Uh, let's see if we can turn with these. A little bit of, uh, let's go off the edge here. Just careful, careful, gently. Going a little bit fast for my liking. Come on, off the edge. No, no, ooh. They're bugging out a little bit. I don't think they're designed to take this much weight, uh, especially on land. Um, right. Yeah. So uh, I think I think we're fine. Just turn a little bit. Turn a little bit. That's wheelie. Oh. Um. Forward flip. Let's land it. Come on. And we keep going. Uh, no, we're not gonna land it. Okay. Okay, I don't think these floats were designed for this much weight. Um, yeah, this needs to go back to the drawing board again. I think we're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. We just put you know something decent for floats and maybe some decent wheels rather than those crappy ones. Right, I've added wheels from TT Modular Multi Wheels, and 
got rid of the floats entirely. We'll just have to sit on our fuel tanks at the side. It should work fine, okay? We've got this. We should have a pretty good top speed as well, because we've got these wheels and the... Uh-oh, uh, uh -oh, no, not towards the runway. That's going to be like a ramp. We're going to take off. Let's, let's see how fast we can go. Um, how fast we can go in the right direction, hopefully. Yeah, that's better. I'm just hoping that the crane at the back doesn't force us to like tip over in the water. I mean, I have put the, the cabin at the front. Let's try and slow it down a little bit. But anyway, I've got the cabin at the front, so that should counteract the weight slightly, because we are just pulling up ineffectively the same cab with a couple of attachments. Slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit more. I don't want to hit the water too fast and just shear the boat in half. Oh, oh, and I don't want to flip over forwards either. <laughs> Breaking on these wheels is iffy at the best of times. It's got quite a nice speed out of water though, and it's quite quite stable because it's probably just got it's got an incredibly low center of gravity, nice and wide. Okay, let's. Ah, uh... oh, there we go. Perfect. No, no, we've lost one of our forward fans. Let's disable that one so that we're even on thrust. And, uh, yeah. Cool, everything works. Let's turn our ship and, yeah, see how fast we can go. Right, our top speed is 2.5. I think that's 2.5. How are you in here, guys? You uh, you good? Right. Distance of about 2 kilometers, 2.5 meters per second. That'll take us about... 8 in that. Um, yep, we'll be there in about 12 minutes? Yeah, 12 minutes. That's fine. Um, yeah. Excellent. Look at look at this baby go. Twelve minutes, uh, four, eight. Um, not particularly fast, are we? New no. bollocks. Right. Okay. That did take quite a while. All right. So the plan is, we'll come alongside, and then pull around and then reverse and back up to them so they're underneath the crane. We'll lift them with the crane, swing the crane around slowly and gently. Wait, how are we going to reverse? Do these engines have a reverse function? Let's, let's do a reverse, reverse. Right, we've got the crane on the back and we can't reverse the engine so we can't reverse into them. I'm sensing a possible design flaw here. This might not work as well as I would have hoped. Um, right, let's just try and pull up next to them and then see if we can edge them around the back without pulling too far away. And maybe, maybe a Kerbal can get out and carry the the magnet over to them. I think you can carry like the uh, the attachment thing on a Kerbal, so they can like take them somewhere using like EVA or whatever. Uh, we'll try that. Judging by the amount of debris we're probably going to have by the end of this series, I think uh, a nice little flatbed scrap thing like this would be very useful. Picking up, you know, enemy, uh, enemy hardware and intel. Right, gently, gently do it. Right. That was the charm. Right. I'm thinking that maybe if we can get them just behind us and then we can swing the attachment over to them, maybe? Go. Ooh, nearly. Ooh, ooh, that looks like it's 
Magnetize. Yes. Just, uh, yeah, that's the right one. Magnetize. That sounded really good. That's... Yes, pull them up. Pull them up. Can we lift them out? The, the crane? Is the crane going to... Yes, the crane can take it. The ship can take it. I think this is a brilliant design. Now if we just uh, angle them over to... Oh, you have to be kidding me. You have to be shitting me. <sighs> we don't have enough power. It's an electromagnet, which requires electricity. And I didn't include any batteries or anything. Or solar panels or thermal generators. And now our engines don't have any power. So we're stranded here. I shouldn't be allowed to make things at all. Right. The rescue crew to rescue the rescue crew. And the original peoples. Right, this time I've, I've raised the legs a bit. Put the uh, wing segments on the bottom. So this should keep most of the body out of the water so we don't have the annoying, slow, ponderous speed. And I've also brought a load of solar panels, some big batteries, and some thermal generators. So now we should have some really high speed in water, and fuckload of power, and no issues with really bad shoddy design that I'm an idiot for. Balls. Anyway, nice, nice high speed. Let's see if we can get to 100 meters per second. Come on, we can do it, we can go it. Come a bit faster. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, need to slow down. Need to slow down. Not turn over. Need to slow down, but not turn over. Not turn over. Not go sideways either. Ooh. 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 Right. Um. Maybe, maybe it plays a little bit safer now. Um. <laughs> don't want to be an idiot again. Lost too many ships already to bad design. Don't need to lose one to trying to run it too fast. Now gently into the water. Hopefully it won't take us 20 goddamn minutes to get there. <sighs> also remember to include the uh, Sticks logo here. Oh, the Sticks logo, the Elysium, Elysia Empire logo, in addition to uh, all the other changes and lights, because, you know, if it was dark and we need to rescue people, yeah, so uh, we made it into water fine this time. We haven't damaged a ship, and uh, let's power up the uh, the engines. Let's go rescue some people. I have no idea how to steer this thing. We seem to be going the other direction. Let's try and. Not working. We need to go the other way. <laughs> what have I done wrong this time? Uh, <laughs> why are we not turning? Right. Figured out how to control it something better. Um, for some reason the original one seems to have spared, and I have no idea where it went. Maybe it's because I said return to space plane hangar. Yeah, I probably should have just gone back to space center and... Oh well, we'd have just towed it home anyway. Oh, that would have been interesting. Oh well, we'll, uh, we'll just get these guys on board. We'll save them. We'll put them in a detention facility. We'll interrogate them. We'll torture them. We're, what? Um, no, uh, we, we're, we're not going to do any of that. We're going to give them silk bed sheets and everything. They're, uh, they're going to be fine. Yeah, um... No need to get Amnesty International involved. The Kerbals are going to be fine. In fact, there aren't any Kerbals. The uh, the ship's going to be abandoned and there's no one on board. At all. It was all automated. Definitely not any prisoners being held in detention facilities by the Elysian Empire. 
That would be a bad thing. Anyway, now I've included fans here for reversing. And I may have lost one of the front fans while I was traveling. So we're back to two fans again. But still, we're still four or five times faster. Now, this isn't this so much easier with the reversing fans. So much easier. Let's just try and get them back position. There we go. That's not pet position. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to be much better. Well, that'll... Fuck it, that'll do. Right, this time we've got big batteries, solar panels, thermal generators. I think I may have put a few too many on. We probably don't need that much extra power. Ooh. Uh, we're not... We're not so do so. Those fuel tanks have been quite helpful. Ooh, just catch it on a reversing fan. Um, I'm glad the crane can take it. I don't think it would take much more. It looks quite strange as it is. But I've put extra struts in now to hold the crane in, so... It's a lot better. Right. Just uh, turn off the reversing engines. Turn on the, turn on the normal engines. And we can travel back to shore with our prisoners. Take them back to uh, a lovely warm meal and some blankets because they've been at sea for many, many days. They are probably a little bit cold. And trapped in a truck cab that was actually on a boat filled with water. Although to be fair, Kerbals do seem to be able to survive without food, water, or oxygen for a very long period of time. Right, we're now next to the shore. And I'm just trying to line us up, because if we go on sideways, we might flip or something, and that would be bad. Because I don't want to have to send something else out. There were so many different prototypes. Oh god. Anyway. Let's, let's, there we go. If we, if we just go forwards now, we'll, uh, be able to hit the, uh, hit the ground. Come on, come on. And yes, we made it. And we're, we're surprisingly sprightly as well. The speed of this thing on land compared with how fast it is in the water when it's laden is ridiculous. Let's see if we can just alter the position of the, uh, the ship and the cargo hold. No, no, it's just going to keep going backwards, right? Okay. Good stuff. Right, uh, where are we going to dump this? Um, well, we'll take it to the to the VAB. Yeah, they've got a nice big door. They can they can put it in. Oh, VAB. Yeah. yeah, we'll take it there. And, and then we can put it in the hangar, so it'll be out of the uh, crying eyes and the, uh, the you know, its secure facility. Or maybe... I don't know, maybe I should take it to the space plane hangar. The VAB's special, it's got, you know, the tracks and stuff, and... Mm, yeah, we'll take it to the space plane hangar. I'm feeling the space plane hangar, actually. Let's, let's turn this a little bit. Slow down. There we go. All right. Yeah. Um, I've removed the actual building phase in this video because, as some of you mentioned, that you'd, you'd prefer not to have the building phase. You just prefer to have, you know, the actual storyline. Um, but I included sort of the prototype still. I'm just wondering what you guys think about that. I mean, let me know in the comments because, uh, you know, it's entirely up to really what you want. I mean, I enjoy making these and enjoy getting the feedback. So, you know, if you want to. Uh, just see the storyline or you actually want to see the building stuff at fast or you just want to see the amusing prototypes that I hilariously make and invariably get it wrong uh yeah let me know all right let's just dump this out the back oh and a couple of you said that uh you really want to find uh dyj's gatling cannon mod but it's not on the forum anymore i had a quick look um they had some problems recently and they're the rollback the forum um so it appears it's not on there anymore uh and no one's reposted it so i'll put a media file link in the description for you to download it if you want because I I've got the original file that I downloaded, so I've just put them back up. Um, so yeah, have a look there if you want to uh, want to grab that. Oh well, there are there are the captured sticks, Kerbals. 
Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. A little bit different to usual, mainly because uh, there wasn't actually any shooting and lots and lots of failing on my part as well. Um, yeah, please uh, like, favorite, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. And if you had any thoughts on whether you wanted the uh, the prototype stage or the uh, the building stage to be edited out or not, let me know. Um, and if you know you've got any other feedback, uh, yeah in the comment section. Uh, I try to read all the comments, uh, especially when I am trying to do other stuff and need a distraction. I end up quite sort of trawling through them. I try and look at all the replies, but YouTube tends to be really crap for telling you if someone's replied to a comment and then, you know, allowing you to find it properly. But yeah, just uh, let me know and uh, I'll put DYJ's link in the description too. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll try and get another one out this week and actually get two this week if I can. So, yay! And thank you very much. You've all been a brilliant. It's great to see so many subscribers and then so many people commenting being like really nice. I will catch you guys next time. Stay shiny.